Just last month, the White House announced that Dakota Meyer, a 23-year-old Marine Scout sniper from Columbia, Kentucky, who has since left the Marine Corps, will become the first living Marine to be awarded the Medal of Honor in 38 years. We caught up with Dakota in his hometown before the award ceremony to bring you his story. We went in to do a key leader engagement to go in and meet with the, the elders of a, of, a, of a village called Gansgaw. And there was a group of about 21 uh, Marines in there and uh, 80 Afghans with us. And I was sitting outside of, the, out of, outside of the village with some trucks with another staff sergeant. And uh, they, they ended up getting hit. And a little, little ways into it, air support wasn't coming in. So we decided we should go in there and try to help them get out. Risking his life even when a medical evacuation helicopter wouldn't land because of the blazing gunfire. Meyer charged through enemy machine gun and rocket propelled grenade fire to help rescue and evacuate his Marine, Sailor, and Afghan brothers. We made uh, five trips in there and uh, when we got in there to find them, they were, you know, they, they had already been, been uh, killed. Dakota's family and friends say they were not surprised that he put his life on the line and ran headlong into a dangerous situation like he did that day. Dakota is Dakota. I mean, he, uh, he's a hard worker. Uh, you always know where you stand with him. He'll tell you what's on his mind. He always would dive head first into things and think later. And so he was always looking for a challenge and he always thought of others first. Every time I'd tell him, I'd say, now Cole, you take care of yourself. He said, now me, Ma, I will, but I have to also take care of my brothers, which he was talking about the other Marines. He would have been willing to lay down his life. He would have been willing to die for others, to die for the battle, to to do what he needed to do for his country. It's a mixture between training and it's a mixture between just uh, morals, you know, uh, your brother's in there and, and you know, you, you don't leave anyone behind and, and there was no time I ever thought that they would all be dead when I got in there, but, you know, it's just, it's just how it happened. Meyer joins a small elite group of heroes, a reality that will often require him to conjure up haunting reminders of the battles he has fought, the friends he has lost, and the painful regret he bears. You, know, you could tell maybe sometimes it might get to him, you know, like, you know, the guys he was with that he, you know, pulled out of there, you know, he was, it was like brothers to him, you know, so kind of respected, you know, it's, it's big and in the media now and a big celebration, but to him, it's a lot more than that. Well, it's hard, you know, it's, uh, it's hard, but, you know, there's nothing that's going to be too hard to keep getting their story out and getting the recognition for the guys that passed that day. It's a great honor to be getting the Medal of Honor. It's, it's not for me. It's for those guys. It's for the Marine Corps. It's for the, the, the Marines that are serving and, you know, the Marines that will serve.